Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to another prehistoric showcase. Uh, with all those pools behind, guys, I think you know, we're back in prehistoric nature mod for Minecraft Java 1.12.2, made by Act Rob and a massive team, guys, including Git Hunter 4, Be Wither, 238 Plutonium, Emilosaurus 65, Lewis Thornton, I Love DP, yes, okay, Aura B, Aura B, Aura Boris, uh, Squiddy Specs, Vamishi, Shiny Lemon 2, Indii, Indii probably, and Nitro Hydro Ray, guys. And there's probably more, and you'll understand. This is the new update. It is massive, <laughs> including, look at all those just below my feet. We've got all those new iron blocks or new iron fences and railings and gates and stuff. Uh, so prehistoric nature, this is how this has been a massive overhaul. 250 new creatures. And we must be at 600 creatures now in this particular mod. It is massive. You need a bit of a beefy computer or use the special information. You need to go to the Curse Forge page if you're new to prehistoric nature because you've got to read a load of stuff up. Go and follow them on their Discord as well. Uh, it is. I didn't know where to start with this, guys. I've spoken to Rob. Thank you very much, Rob. But I was still like so daunted by this particular update. But we got a new one coming at Christmas as well, which is massive. So we've got to get cracking, guys. So this will be in two parts. We're going to be quite quick fire. Uh, these are the new fences for paddocks. And those are gates there. You've got two types. You can see uh, we've got the, what we call the mesh fence and the grid fence. You've got a new fence here, vertical wire barriers. You've got gates. Uh, and you can see the difference in the textures. You've also got these cool things. Look, plates. Yes. So we got mesh plates and grid plates and wire grid plates. Wow, you can do those fantastic walkways that you can see through underneath with grids. That look, will look pretty damn cool. Also, guys, the fences match up with the gates. You have to play around with them like this to make like a, an area. But I think that looks quite cool both ways, whichever way you do it. Uh, this mod now is broken down into the original mod. All the portals which are separate worlds. Uh, you have to download the lot, guys. There's also an add-on pack as well uh, with all, look at this, with all these fossils. I showcased these last time. So if you want to see all these fossils, go and have a look. That's basically a separate mod as well for the fossils. But as you can see, guys, they are super cool. Uh, and you've got fossil placements as well where you can hang the fossils up on the wall when you find them it is just absolutely massive a bit of slow down when you have so many in this location but they are super cool right so what we're going to do guys oh of course and the 500 trees as well <laughs> forgot about that if you haven't seen this mod there are about 500 trees uh, i'm not going to go into that each tree has got different types of blocks slabs doorways there must be now about 50 different types of doorways there's these uh walkways for the trees which are superb as well it just and boats and oh there's just so much and all sorts of bins and stuff these are the latest updates from last time and the time before but there is so much so what we're going to do first of all guys is go through some of them other mod updates then we're going to start with showing you 100 creatures uh, have a look at the timestamps. Uh, I'll just break it down into like, we're now going to look at the new biomes, first of all. Right, guys, we're going to be quite short with the biomes because there's so much to see. You need to download this wonderful mod called Nature's Compass. Uh, because when you find and go to different uh, areas, you need to go and find some of the biomes to find particular creatures. So first of all, I've also got journey map because it means that I can set up this. Now we're going to go and see the new olive grove. There is a new olive grove in the overworld. And here is one. It's actually an olive grove island, which I was quite impressed to see. Uh, and again, you can find it on this. So if you just search and put olive, I will find 
find it straight away. There you go. And you can click and then you can start the search. I'm going to show that mod off because uh, Rob helped me out with that. I've used it before, but it's well cool. Right. So you can see this new olive grove has olive branches. So the first new biome in the overworld. And Rob's just done a new update this week. So the original file information about all the new stuff is the file before. So when you go and have a look, just check out the last two files. This is a new feature which wasn't there in the one from last week, which is the the uh, the Deadwood log. And uh, that's just sprouted in. Yes. Oh, by the way, I've got the config, uh, the config done to show uh, trees in the overworld because I like trees in the overworld. I know Rob doesn't. Uh, the new mod only produces trees from the existing timeline. Right. So that's the olive grove, guys. So then we're going to go back home and we're going to go to our first biome. So first of all, guys, we're going to go into the pre-Cambrian. Uh, Pre-Cambrian. So this one is spawned underground. So I've already been here, obviously. Uh, let's just go and have a look at the overworld up here because it's really cool this is an ice there's two biomes next to each other here which have changed since i did yeah this is an ice biome it is called the cryogen ice desert massive and then there's this is a new biome as well but I, it's not on this one it came before this is a neprozoic microboreal plains which are really cool right okay let's just go to the first one the pre cambrian update is these are so cool these are the crater fields the hayden crater fields biome i am so impressed with this uh yeah different types of uh stuff around here i love that looks like a meteorite hit it you will find lots of ores and stuff when you travel through from the biomes but look at that sky look at these lava fields Oh my god there's even like primordial soup down here as well which is really cool so this is a new update uh you will find if i just go click this and i go to the oh, hayden you will see that there are five different biomes right so we're now off to the carboniferous again we spawned underground but this is a completely different era, of course. This is the green era, I call it. Look at this. Unbelievable. So you'll find all sorts of Carboniferous biomes. In this particular one, we've now got the Cool Woodland biome, which is Cool Cordites. Cool, I've spelt that wrong. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> spell that wrong. Chirodites. Uh, you will see this cool biome look so that as well as warm it has temperate and it has cool biomes this could be i tell you what guys already you've seen these these lands it could be starfield you could be visiting a new planet <laughs> you could play starfield on these they're quite funny i was actually thinking of this while looking at the biomes so there's the carboniferous there's also they've slightly updated the step biome yeah, so we just come back to home. You will find creatures everywhere, guys. They are beautiful. If you haven't seen all my previous showcases, you can go and see all the previous creatures. Uh, many aspects of those have been updated. So now, guys, we're going to go into Permian. Again, underground. <laughs> so Permian, again, we've been here before. This is ice biome. Uh, but the, there's some different biomes now you will find in this area. So we're going to the Stony Lands Depression. Now this is, oh yeah, the Stony Lands River as well. So this depression is a great big depression in the ground. We've also got the Stony Lands Depression and we're in this bit here is a different Stony Lands area. This should be the Stony Lands Plains and then Stony Lands Creek, which I particularly uh, wanted to see. So I love the fact that we've now got uh, in, you've got these water rivers and look, the natural creatures spawning in their natural land absolutely superb oh yeah and they do fighting and playing and stuff like that and attacking other animals so what do we mean by the depression well look at this it's almost like a crater a giant crater area which again is super super cool uh, also when you go around that i went around all around inside the crater i think we've got an area where what you then get is big high escarpments so you can see the little escarpments here 
And here is one of the big escarpments coming up over here. So it's all sorts of different types of landscape. Again, this could be Starfield, Rob. You could make a Starfield mod. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's another bit of the creek again. So much to display. So there's another biome I want to show you here, which is the Glossopateris biome. This is completely different biome, as you can see. Uh, we've got Glossopateris biome with temperate and cold areas. Also, the, what you find is there's a Glossopateris forest, and then there's like a water area, and then there's like marshes and plains. But again, absolutely super cool. I, I'm just so amazed that uh, Rob makes some of the best landscape. Well, I would say the best landscapes in Minecraft, which could be used for all sorts of things. It just looks super cool. There's another type of forest over here. Right, so now we're off to Triassic, and Triassic has had loads of stuff. We're still here in here in, in the water area, uh, and you'll see some Triassic creatures underwater, which however all the creatures spawn naturally, it's just unbelievable, but their creatures are superb. Uh, yeah, that's a comfort. Oh my god, look at that, that's off. So there are three new biomes in this particular area. First up, the Triassic Woodland Creek. So I love the addition. Ooh, there's lots of flying creatures. I forgot, I couldn't remember which one we had the flying creatures. These are gorgeous as well. Uh, I can't actually see the name of those, but there are loads of them flying around here. So the worlds are completely alive. So that's the creek and woodlands. They are really good. I must admit, I am so impressed. So now we are going to the Steno Sphenopateris wood, uh, Highlands, which is a completely different type of biome. Uh, I don't know how many biomes there are. There must, it must be, there are so many per world that you've got to explore. Uh, and different creatures live in different areas. Oh my God, there's water down there as well. Uh, that's really cool. More of those flying creatures are everywhere in this world. Maybe too many. <laughs> I think there may be too many. Oh my God, look at that. This reminds me of the old years ago when we had the pig infestation. We now got the flying creatures infestation. But look at that. Look at that landscaping. Ooh. It looks like a particular biome embedded in another biome. Yeah, a lot of flying creatures. Oh, there's a different one over there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Right. Let's go to the last one in this particular era. The... Polg biome. Polg biome. Oh, I want to see this because there was a lake in the middle of it. Look at the creatures. They're just so good. So this is the point. You travel back in time to get the creatures and bring them back to your zoo. Uh, they are really cool, though. All the creatures are just brilliant. In fact, there's so many creatures, it's unreal now. You have to look them up. So there's another biome. Oh, what was that? No, another biome. These creatures... Interesting. Interesting how many flying creatures there are. But that is pretty cool as well. Did I actually go to the Poji? Well, the Poji one was different. Ah, that's why. Right, guys. So now we are going to just go through a couple of things. Uh, and then we're going to do the first lot of animals. Right, guys. Uh, this is where we turn shaders off because we're going to be showing lots of underwater creatures. Uh, we're still in Triassic because it's the easiest way to do. Uh, and we're going to try and show some of the 200. Uh, we'll see how we go, guys, because literally there are so many animals, uh, as you will see here. If I go spawn, <laughs> right, luckily I know where the last one's ever. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. 500. Are we talking 500? Uh, and then if you just go to the mod, you've got mobile creatures, you've got static creatures. I'm not even going to do the static creatures. There are a load of new static creatures, uh, plants, building blocks. There's all the building blocks. Uh, that's the fossils, plants, guys. There's another hundred and odd plants and trees that have been added. So uh, it's just too big to show on this. Right. Uh, so uh, let's get going then. Right, guys, so I've got my potion of water breathing and night vision. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have some uh, trouble. Is I don't know what these are land based or water based creatures. Oh my god, look at those! Yeah, I probably should look at the tooltips. Ah, it's a water creature. 
So that is going to be the only problem with this video, guys. They are cute. Uh, I need to stop talking as well. There are so many creatures to showcase. Wow. Oh, oh, is that going to be a land-based creature? No, it's a fish. It's a fish. The creatures are such high quality, guys. Oh, where's that gone? Oh, look at that. Ho ho! I saw those before. All the creatures have their own animations and stuff. Oh, yes, yeah, saw that before. Unbelievable. Oh, it's a diddy one. So as I know, most creatures are water-based. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Is that one of the new ones? Right, let's have a look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited because there's 200 creatures. Hey, look at those. Oh, there did he. Oh, yes. Lots of these creatures I know. <laughs> oh, I saw this the other day when I was watching. Oh, yeah. Go and watch uh, Jurassic Ham's video. I'll put a link. Jurassic Ham has also done, I think, all the creatures. So... Go and show Jurassic Hammer always does showcases this particular mod. Ooh. Oh, is that going to be a water-based stroke swimming? Ooh, very nice. Oh, me stuff is wearing off. Ooh. So there's turn oh giant, giant broad giant whoa look at those there's tons of diddy creatures but it just brings all the eras to a light it's absolutely brilliant in all the biomes oh ho oh, oh, ho like a starfish that is impressive guys oh it's a swimmy swimmy stuff oh another starfish oh I'm glad we got starfishes now. Oh, we've had loads of these creatures before and I love the different varieties. Oh, giant starfish. Oh, 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 that's a big one. That's a big one, guys. Oh, I just love the swimming one. So look at this. Right, we're going to get some more out of the box. It's a very quick fire video, this, on the creatures. Right, guys, I know these are not coming out of the box the right way, but hey, who cares? Ooh! Oh, wow! Like a mini octopus. It's a snail, though, I think. Oh, look at those. They are snails. Hey, that's a biggie. More snails. Look like baby gronkles. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, look at those. Hey. Did he go on the land? Don't know. Maybe they do. Oh, I saw these. He's just so these are the most gorgeous little creatures I have seen in a long time. Look at that. What can you say? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Right. I <laughs> can't get tired of their chest. Ooh. So many hundreds of Wonderful creatures. <gasps> Fishes. Oh. Look at how they all do all different. They all swim differently. Oh, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Ah, oh, they're never gorgeous. They're like flying fish. They're like flying fish. Ah, oh, they're never one. Oh my god, there's three different types. What are those? They're just brilliant. Ooh. Another flying fish. Oh, there, there's so many good stuff in here. I, I knew there was anyway, but, you know. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guy. A new land creature. New land creature. Superb. Right, okay. Oh, it's a fishy, fishy, fishy. Bit of swimming creature. Not fish. I get told off. Oh, purple. I like that. Well, lavender. Wait, oh, oh, it's another creature. Another creature. Do these attack each other? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, wow. He. The oceans are alive. And all these creatures are scientifically researched. This is taking years to create. Right, these are the last batch, and then we'll show the rest in another video. Let's have a look. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if I've shown them before, I do apologize because I had a bit of a mix up. Oh, look, a little sea worm. We've got some giant Jurassic creatures coming here. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. So many beautiful little creatures as well. The little creatures. Oh, oh yes. We got some bigger ones there. And this one. No. This is it a biggie. It's a big Jurassic. Uh, let's have a look. That was the Romulosaurus from Jurassic. How good is that? And when you come around here, I've already spawned some in. Look at this. So graceful. Wow. Right, what have we got now? Harpicanthus. Ooh. The team just put so much ever. Ooh, is that a land based animal? Yes, it is. Diddy one. Oh, the fish are so good. Oh, diddy, diddy, diddy. Everything is so fantastic. Oh, squiddies. Oh, not squiddies. Probably cuttlefish. Oh, they are so gorgeous. Right. Oh, another one. Oh, look at this. Wow. Every single creature has got wonderful moving parts. Super diddy ones. Oh, that is so cute. My stuff is wearing off. Oh. Hee <laughs> Right, let's have a look at the last few in this video. If you're still here, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, this mod is truly amazing. Hey, another big fish. Hey, what's this one? A Temenodotosaurus. Temenodotosaurus Jurassic. So we're getting lots of Jurassic water creatures. You will be getting some dinosaurs for Christmas. We're getting dinosaurs for Christmas. That's the big news. A chunna. Chunna, chunna, chunna. Oh, yeah. Eep. Looks like an axolotl. <laughs> oh. And last but not least for this video, guys. It's only Diddy, but it's worth it. But as you can see, uh, 
The worlds are teeming with creatures. Oh, this is coral. Teeming with stuff and creatures is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we can't show you all the animals. Uh, go and check out the Discord and go and check out uh, Curse Forge. Uh, for information how to load it up into your uh, Minecraft Java. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant, guys. And I will be doing a second video in a couple of days. Uh, we've got some other stuff in between, but uh, the second video will be coming out as quickly as I can. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And if you're still here, go and slap that like button, please. It helps Rob and the team to get noticed because their work is absolutely outstanding. Bye-bye.